I'm Missy Billings. I'm with American Legion Auxiliary Unit 200 of Bowling Springs. Um, April is month of the military child, and we're taking this opportunity to let these kids know that we acknowledge them and we're proud of them, and we know that they serve. Um, I have a son who's a senior this year. Um, he went through two and a half years of deployments through a five-year period. So it was tough. He was a much younger at that time, and I saw how he struggled. Here in District 2, we have 60 kids whose parents are actively, um, they're in the reserves, they're active, they're deployed, they're all involved. So those kids are sliding under the radar. The kid, two years ago, I approached the school and I asked, you know, how many kids do we have in the military? And they had no idea. So they added it to their registration process last year so that we could catch those kids and we could start acknowledging them. Um, we partner with District 2 and last year we had 52. This year there's 60 kids in our community. Um, it's really important to us as a unit because these kids are special. Um, they're pushed under the rug. A lot of people don't know that they're there. They yeah. don't know what there's going on. There's no units in our area. There's no Navy bases. There's no Air Force bases. There's nothing for Marines. There's an Army base at USC Upstate, but that doesn't support everybody. Um, these kids and these families, these wives, these mothers, these husbands, they need to know we support them. Not just the kids, but April's a special month, and we want to take that time to acknowledge it and to, you know, to let these kids know we're here, to let the parents know that we're here, and if they need anything, to reach out to us as a unit, um, and we're happy to help. I, my son struggled. He didn't have anybody to go to. His peers didn't know anything about it because we're not in the military community. His teachers didn't know anything about it for the same reason. I want to make a difference. I, we want to change that attitude. We want them to know that Johnny sitting in their classrooms, mom may or may not deploy, and Johnny's struggling. So we want to, we want to enlighten everybody. We want to teach them how to make a difference. I told everybody, you know, reach out to your community. Get to know your neighbors. Know the parents who serve or who are in the military. When they're gone, these kids still need role models. They need people there to support them. The wives, the husbands, you know, I know when my husband was gone, it seems like everything breaks when they're gone. They need somebody to help them with the grass. They may need just time away. Get to know them. Get to know the kids and just be the person we need to be to support those kids.